I'm now doubting myself as well about the idea of this Birmingham boy. I don't know. I haven't seen all five of them together in a very long time. He did have a scratch under his right eye that was relatively fresh when we saw it three days ago, but it could have healed up already. And for those of you who are very, very well acquainted with the Birmingham boys, if you don't think it's Blondie, please do let me know if I've got the ID wrong. I think it's safe to say we definitely know it's a Birmingham boy. Here's an interesting aspect of the Birmingham boys and the Ngormas. An amber-eyed female that he's mating with now. The, the Ngormas are big lionesses. I mean, they're not huge, they're not abnormally large, but they are relatively big girls. And yesterday, or a couple of days ago, when I saw them both next to the vehicle, this male and this female, there was a very interesting observation that I noted, which is that although they might be heavier, the, the amber-eyed lioness is at least two inches at the shoulder taller than the male is. The Birmingham boys are not huge. They're not enormous males. They've certainly grown, and it's not really all about size. Numbers and attitude is what determines a lion's success in terms of dominating a territory. The lioness is definitely taller than the Birmingham boy. Okay, well there we go. Thank you to Wild Dog Pup and Molly. It gets a bit tricky to ID the different male lions. And apparently this is number two and not Blondie. So Amber Eyes has found herself a new male consort for the day. Number two and not Blondie. I wonder where on earth Blondie went. I wonder what enticed him to move away from a female in estrus. This is that's relatively common though. So with uh, with male lions and a female in estrus, they very often tire before she is finished with her heat or her estrus cycle. At which point, one of the other coalition members will take over. Which is why, as we spoke about before, there's actually it's often quite a peaceful decision amongst coalition members who gets to mate with a female because they all get a chance. It's the complete opposite with cheetah. So within a male cheetah coalition, only one of the males is dominant and only one of the males will get to mate with the females, which is why cheetah are far more fussy about making sure that they are related to their coalition members, preferably closely related, preferably brothers. Male lions are not so fussy. Because they know they will always have an opportunity at some point to mate if they establish themselves as dominant, it doesn't matter if they form a coalition with a male that's unrelated, which is what's happened with the young Kuhuma male, with Junior.